Hi, this is Dakarazu. In this recording, we're going to be dealing with a question that is related to algebra, but also to a coordinate geometry. Let's read the question. The graph of which of the following functions is symmetric about the x-axis? We're given the choices y equal x square, y equal absolute value of x, y square equal x, y equal to x, and finally y equal to negative x. In number A, you should recognize a quadratic equation. Basically, it's a, the equation of a parabola. Y equal absolute value of x also, you sh should recognize basically two different lines. So what are I going to do here, in order to solve the question, I'm going to be drawing, instead of doing the question algebraically, I'm going to actually use coordinate geometry to uh, solve this question. It's important for you to be familiar. Let me write that down. You should be familiar with what we call the parent parabolas. How to draw the basic, the parent parabolas. How and the equation of uh, the quadratic equation essentially is connected uh, to its graph. By looking at an equation, a quadratic equation, you should be able to say that this is the corresponding graph. Now, you may never get this uh, on the GMAT, but you never know. If you're dealing with a tough question on the GMAT, you may get this. So I highly recommend you get familiar with quadratic equations and with parabola, how to actually draw them. Okay, let's go ahead. When you have a graph like this, obviously you have the x-axis and the y-axis. We The graph of this uh, parabola, which is, uh, excuse my drawing here, but this is a sketch of the graph of y equal x squared, which is a parent parabola. Why parent? Because many other parabolas come from this particular one. And this is a vertical parabola that is concave up. Okay? And also you have another one that almost looks like it, except it's a concave down. Okay, concave down. Again, we have the direction here of x and y axis. And this is a sketch of the graph of y equal negative x squared. Okay? Let me draw here another one. Okay, again, see the origin here is really the point here of symmetry if you want. Actually, it's the origin, really. I shouldn't say the point of symmetry, but it's definitely the origin where the two axes intersect, x, y axis. And this is uh, the sketch of the graph of, you guessed it, x equal y square. Here we are squaring x here, but here now we are squaring y. And uh, it's a horizontal parabola. Okay? It goes towards the x, it's concave horizontally towards the positive x-axis. Okay, and now we're going to be drawing something like this. You guess it on the other. Okay? And this is x equal negative y square. So I hope you see the relationship uh, among these uh, parabolas. You have two parabolas that are vertical, one concave down, the other concave up, and we have two other ones that are horizontal, 
one concave to the right, the other one concave to the left. And these are, these are called the parent parabolas. Okay? Now, just by looking at these, you can see that, for example, uh, let's say number one here. Let's just put one, two, three, and four. We can say that number one and number two are symmetric about the y-axis. Do you see? You have a left branch here and a right branch. So, there is symmetry because the y-axis is like a mirror. It's a reflection. You know, basically, any point you have here, for example, on the left, you have its mirror on the right side. Obviously, it's not uh, symmetric about the x-axis, but rather about the y-axis. The same is true for the parabola number two. Just look at it and you see that there is symmetry about the y-axis. The point on this left branch, they have, if, if you want, a mirror, a reflection on the right branch. Now, if you look at number three and number four, you should agree that they are symmetric about the x-axis. Not the y-axis, but about the x-axis. You can take this point and this point, for example. And you can take a point here and a point here. It's like they, they, one is reflect, one reflects the other one. Okay? So this is important because really from these parabolas you can guess the equation of many other parabolas. Maybe there are, those are going to be shifted to the right, maybe shifted to the left, maybe shifted up, maybe shifted down. Okay? So you can you, you kind of guess what the equations should be or if you're given the equation you should be able to guess what is the corresponding graph to that equation okay now if you look at the answer choices uh, again they are asking you which of the followings is symmetric about the x-axis it should be clear to you by now that c would be the answer because it's clear that y square equal equal x is the same as x equal y square so definitely c is symmetric about the x axis actually it is number three it's really the same as three except they start the equation with y square so this should be really the answer to the question now you must have noticed that i didn't even talk about uh, uh, b D and elephant. I mean uh, B dog, uh, sorry, uh, B, D, and E. I could be boy if you want D dog and E elephant. But uh, D and E are lines. Those are equation of a line. Actually, those two lines, if you want, I can even draw them here on the right side. One of them is going to look like this. And this is Y equal X. And the other one going to look like this. And this is y equal negative x. y equal x is actually symmetric, not about a line, but about a point. It's about the origin. Both of them are symmetric about the origin. Line y equal x is symmetric about the origin, which is a Point zero zero, and line y equal ne negative x is also symmetric about the origin. So they are not symmetric about a line, rather they are symmetric about a point. Finally, y equal absolute value of x, if you were to draw that, going to look like this. Let's put x here, y here. This is a y axis, this is x axis. Okay, this is going to look like this. It's like a V. Not a parabola, but a V. They are two lines. They don't have a curve, a curvature, you know. It's just two different lines, and they kind of <laughs> intersect at the origin. Okay? And this is Y equal absolute value of X. That's how it looks like when you draw that line. Again, this is symmetric about the Y axis. Yes, about a line which is a y axis as you can see but we ask symmetry about the x axis and among the choices we are given the only solution uh, is c c is the only one 
that is symmetric about the x-axis. I hope that you've liked uh, this way of solving the question, kind of indirectly if you want, by teaching you uh, how uh, these lines, uh, how they do correspond to uh, a certain graph in the xy plane. Okay? So again, this is Dakar Azu, and thank you for watching.